Okay, welcome back everyone. We are looking at Loopring on the daily time frame currently and well Loopring isn't looking too bad. You can see that we are still currently trending back towards the upside right on over here. Now we are heading into the zone in which we had previously marked which was a range between about 23 cents 65 to 23 cents 90. Now important portion right here is what we need to see is a break above 2371. Ideally, we'd like to see that with a closure. And what I also must point out is one, you can see this one red candle that we had on over here on the daily time frame. We closed down a total of 1.66%. But more importantly is the wick that it had on it. This candle is exactly similar to this one right on over here in the sense that you still ended up closing green. Now, the important portion to it is you can look at this and say that it's back testing because look, even just where this prior wick went to, if I can zoom out and I get rid of that, you can see that this wick pretty much back tested. What do you know? This prior support. Excuse me. Now, it might not have uh, touched fully down here, but it got relatively close enough that that was for like that overall zone. And then you can see the same thing essentially happened with this wick. You came down and you actually held the like closure and open and closure highs right there. So um, <clears throat> that being said, we did end up pushing on up and we did make a new high as of today, but we have gotten sold off from that point. For the most part, this overall area, we are seeing a bunch of wicks. So you are taking a bunch of orders out here, but we are, as of right now, still unable to actually get closures above there. So we need to see some follow through, especially with a uh, closure. Uh, that being said, you need to break past this white line. I forget if I mentioned, I, I like to know I was talking about it, but I don't think I specified. Um, 23 cents, 71. You need to get a closure above there. Ideally, you want to see open and closure above there. Um, and from that point on, then you'd be looking relatively good you'd be looking to really take out these highs right on over here which if by chance you are able to do so even if you were to just get like a little blip above and then we immediately like reverse would still overall be fine that'd be putting you in for making a higher high and then we could be one to assume that we'd make a higher low to some fashion just as we would if this was inverted that if we ended up breaking there, then we'd be saying, hey, you know what? We probably make a lower uh, high and then do something along the lines of that. And then we'd be looking heavily at like the areas of pretty much that zone, essentially. So top in the middle or um, really the like bottom or high, whatever. Either way, that's really going to be about it for the video. There's really not too much else for me to necessarily talk about for Loopring right now. Uh, you still are maintaining, so I'd say look for those uh, higher levels to get taken out. And then if you were to reverse back towards the downside, the level to hold is going to actually be this wick that we were talking about, which is at 21 cents 60. So other than that, none of this is financial advice. You guys let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Do you find it interesting or do you think I'm an idiot? I'd love to know all. Um, yeah, so... And that, you guys have a phenomenal day as always, and adios muchachos.